Guys, welcome to Stella Maris, right behind me. This is another video walkthrough, and this is going to be a very interesting one. We're going to look at a garden apartment. I'm standing right now in the area of land that's immediately adjacent to the building. It is plot 206. It's currently being used as a builder's yard. They're going to clear all of this out when the project is complete. And RTA, who have restricted the land, are going to turn it into a beautiful landscape garden right on the marina walkway. Absolutely gorgeous. And these garden apartments, are going to have a view out over this garden, out over the West Bay Yacht Marina and out over the canal where it exits out into the sea. So very special, very unique. There's only nine of them, uh, three on each floor, uh, one, two and three. And on of these garden apartments, there's only three corner units and they're very special, very architectural in the interior styling. And we're going to look at the best one today. We are going to go into unit 304. So absolutely gorgeous, fantastic views, something very special, something very unique. So let's go and check it out. Okay guys, so here we are, we're in the building. This is the entrance to unit 304. Let's go inside and take a look. Immediately to our right, we have got a powder room. This is a bit of a tradition here at Stella Maris. Nice neutral grey tiling, mirror along the back wall there, sink uh, just beneath it, grow hay and Villaroy and Bosch, that's the uh, fittings and finishings that go into the units here at Stella Maris, so very nice indeed. And some nice mosaic along the, the wall here to the, to the right. So a nice powder room, uh, you know, which is a great feature uh, in a premium, a premium one bed. So we'll swivel it around and we're going to go into the apartment itself. This is where the kitchen will be. Your main units will be along the back wall here. So this is where the cooker, the extractor fan, and the fridge will be situated. There's an island component to the kitchen and the unit will be right here. This will be where the sink is. Again, it's grow hay. So standing behind your island uh, unit, you're looking out into the apartment. Now this apartment has got a lot of kit in it. These are the units uh, for the kitchen units. They recently attached the glass, so forgive this safety barrier. Please try and see past the mess of this place. We are under construction, 75% complete, but a little bit of a difficult video to, to do here with all of this in place. Good windows, 2.9 metres tall, nice views, that's quite a pretty building there and there is good access uh, here to the balcony. The balcony extends beyond the safety barrier, you'll see that in a second, that's where the garden is going to be, that's where the park is going to be. Just down here you can see where the glass and the glass balcony is going to run, that's the end of the edge of the balcony there and that down there is where the park is going to be, that pretty mosque there. It's a nice interesting feature, a little bit different from the modern towers and, and behind it is Marina Star. That is going to be a ground plus 24 floor building and that is going to be a good looking building. It will be finished in the middle of uh, 2025 and they're going at it pretty fast. So back inside, let's uh, come round past these uh, units a little bit. Again, forgive the mess, it's a construction site of course. That is a pillar there, a support pillar for the building. Uh, and you can see here that uh, there's well, actually there's a lift, they're still working obviously in uh, attaching uh, some of the, the balconies to the exterior of the building. But this is how they attach the glass to the exterior of the, the floor plate and you can see here where the two uh, elevations of glass meet. This is a corner unit, support pillar, maybe a place for your TV or a piece of art and it's an interesting architectural feature and there's a nice little recess here uh, immediately next to it, you can put a plant there, maybe shelving units or uh, maybe a, a, a piece of ornamentation uh, uh, just in here. It's an interesting architectural feature. So bedroom dead ahead and if we go into this uh, bedroom and we take a right, we are going to see the dressing area. This is where the ensuite is. There'll be cupboards in there, nice uh, cupboard doors, nice lighting inside the cupboards, nice touches. And then to the left, we've got the bathroom. It's a big bathroom. It's a big bathroom for the Dubai Marina. That's where the, the mirror will go. Nice grey tiling, nice neutral grey tiling. Sink there, uh, just uh, beneath the mirror. Grow hay and Villaroy and Bosch again. That's the bath, obviously. 
and a big area of, uh, of, of mosaic in this bathroom, bigger than a lot of the two beds even, it's quite a unique feature that amount of mosaic in a bathroom. So a massive bathroom here at Stella Maris, big, big bathroom for the Dubai Marina, no question about it. So back out, let's take a look at the, uh, the bedroom. Let's take a look at the balcony access. The views are very pretty. That's going to be a glass line balcony again. It extends beyond the safety barrier. What a nice view. There's the yacht marina. So you could practically cast a spinner or a bait into the water there and catch yourself a fish for dinner. I mean, absolutely gorgeous uh, situation here. That's the path down there. When they clear out all of this mess, that's going to be nice lawn. Very, very pleasant. Very unique to have that beneath your unit and with this beautiful view across from you. The balcony extends all the way to the end there and obviously beyond the safety barrier, they bolt the glass onto the exterior of the balcony so you'll get use of, a full use of it. It's a very good uh, size of balcony. It's angled towards the water. This is the sunset view. And I'm going to come along here actually, I'm going to swivel it around a little bit and show you where the, uh, the balcony uh, divider would be between yourself, your apartment and your neighbour, right here. It's dark glass, it's thick glass, it's going to be architecturally very interesting from the exterior, it'll give you all the privacy you need, it's going to look good from the inside and out and uh, you know it's going to uh, you know, allow you to enjoy the balcony and enjoy these lovely views. Uh, out over the sunset, that's where the sun sets there. This is the sunny side of the building, the southwest facing side, so the sun on this uh, side of the building all day. It makes it very light and very airy, you know, up to these uh, 2.9 meters windows. This is uh, obviously where the bed would go, plugged in for electricity for bedside uh, cabinets. Very nice size of bedroom. Let's come inside a little bit. I'm going to come back over into this corner swivel it around and try and give you a sense of how it, uh, what, what the sizes are like. Uh, you know, uh, over here towards the windows, balcony access, up to the ceiling, uh, very nice indeed. So, back out of the bedroom, we're going to come into the main living area again. A very architectural in its styling, this apartment, which makes it an interesting apartment. That's a laundry area or a little uh, a place for uh, a washing machine there. There'll be a, a nice door goes onto the front of that. And here obviously is where the kitchen is, along the back wall kitchen, island kitchen here. And you know, just a very, very attractive shape, very attractive design, very architectural on its appearance, very light and very spacious. I'm going to turn that around. There you go, windows all the way down from one end of the apartment to the other. Corner unit, so that's where the windows on this wall meet uh, the windows uh, on the, uh, the southwest elevation of the building and uh, in this particular unit, excuse all the mess, excuse these roads, I mean, but you can even see, even with this mess, you can see that it's a very interesting looking apartment, it's very spacious, it's a one bed, I mean, it's a massive one bed, 1,020 square feet, very, very pretty unit, lovely visibility, massive windows all the way down the side of your wall there to the, to the end, and then at the corner where it meets the glass uh, at the southern, southwestern end looking out over this view, you've got the park and the garden down there, that lovely moss, you've got the Marina Star building, the West Bay York Marina, stunning, and it's, again, it's, it's glass balcony, so you can see through, I mean, it's difficult to make the apartment look as good in these videos as it's going to be in real life, this is to give you a flavour, you have to use your imagination here, and for someone who wants something special, if you can use your imagination and see past all of this mess, this sacking, the building equipment and picture it with a garden, with a lawn, with palm trees down there and with glass, clear glass on the edge of this balcony, bringing these views into your interior space, then it's easy to see that this is a very attractive, uh, a very attractive unit with these double aspect views and this view with this garden and this marina beneath you. Okay guys, this is the gym at Stella Maris. This is the main mixed gym to the front of the building. The facilities here are fantastic. There's a separate ladies gym to the rear of the building. There's a private cinema, a 12 seater cinema, a billiard room, uh, and a business lounge. But this is the gym, it's to the front of the building. It's 5.6 meters uh, high ceilings. Look at the view out over the West Bay York Marine, absolutely gorgeous. This is where they will put uh, the, uh, the running machine, the exercise bikes, and the steppers. So you're able to stand here, have a workout, and take a look out over this lovely view. Maybe this is the view that will get you into the gym more often. 
something else I wanted to show you was the beautiful rich, uh, beautiful stone, beautiful rich grained Italian marble that they're putting around the lifts, the lifts around here at Stella Maris. And they're going to match that stone up with rose gold uh, lift doors. I mean the effect is absolutely gorgeous, very very rich look, very very stunning interior spaces here at Stella Maris. Very luxurious. Now these, uh, these lifts are a five lifts in Stella Maris, it's a 52 floor uh, building. Ground plus 52 and there are five lifts running through the central core of the building plus a service lift. So it's a low density building with only 313 units and five lifts are going to mean that you never wait for a long period of time to get access to the floor that your apartment is on. You can see that they're taping up the ceilings here, the lighting and so on and so forth is uh, being protected and then we're going to tape up the arms, soon going to tape up uh, the lift surrounds as well. Uh, and the doors for that matter, so I was quite lucky to, uh, to catch this before they did that and as I did I thought I would uh, film and show you what it's all about. Back to the apartment and we're looking out again over plot 206 and that is where the garden is going to go, you've got the West Bay Yacht Marina here. This is the sunset view on the sunny side of the building. Forgive the crane in the way, it does spoil it a little bit but if you can see past this crane, if you can see past the mess that's down there in this builder's yard, and I try and picture this beautiful building, white with the, the, the glass exterior, absolutely stunning. You're going to have something really special here to enjoy.